In chapter 20, we're going to uh, discuss carbohydrates, um, or as you might think about them, sugars. We're going to, by the end of this chapter, be able to at least recognize uh, the structure of a carbohydrate, determine uh, some of its reactivity, uh, and uh, essentially be able to understand how uh, complex carbohydrates were um, were discovered um, and classified uh, based off of more simple carbohydrates. So just to give you a little bit of a preview of what to expect, um, for those of you that really don't know how uh, carbohydrates are classified, if you think about the name carbohydrate, it, um, it, it, they typically have the formula CNH2NON, so there's a, a lot of oxygen um, uh, atoms in particular structures of these hydrocarbons. Uh, but more importantly, so carbohydrate, the hydrate of carbon. So typically you can think of these, of, of carbohydrates as CN and then water N. So for every carbon, there is a water molecule um, kind of built into the structure of them. Hence the hydrate of carbon. That's where we, we get the, the name from. Um, so we also um, often refer to carbohydrates as sugars or as saccharides. So polysaccharide is simply a sugar, okay? One of the things that uh, you need to understand in, the, in this chapter that we haven't really touched base on that much, um, some of you may have uh, learned uh, about uh, certain projections uh, in other classes, but uh, for this particular chapter, we're certainly going to have to explore the idea of Fisher projections. And um, in order to really um, know about carbohydrates, you have to think about uh, the 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 Fisher projection of them, because that, this is typically how they're drawn. The other thing that you have to um, understand is the logic of structure determination. And so we're going to uh, look at some uh, reactions. Some of them are old, some of them are new, um, but uh, it, the idea is that how do sugars build upon one another? Thirdly, you're going to understand cyclization reactions. So we're going to see that um, sugars can be take two forms. One is a linear form, and the other is a, a cyclic form, or uh, a hemiacetal. Uh, and, the, uh, and so understanding the equilibrium that exists um, between a hemiacetal and the linear form is going to become of uh, vital importance in terms of understanding uh, what's going on in terms of the chemistry of uh, carbohydrates. And then of course lastly uh, we're going to look at how we can um, selectively protect groups. So we'll see that carbohydrates have a lot of alcohol functional groups coming off of them and there are certainly ways that we can protect certain alcohol groups over other alcohol groups. So let's get started.